about 1730, Staff Sergeant Darren Hoover, friend and mentor. came to get me from the tower to go help find an Afghan interpreter in the crowd. We found the interpreter and his brother born with American passports. They told us, five, told us of five family members still in the canal. I stayed there waiting for the family members standing against a two foot canal wall. 10 minutes passed. <clears throat> then a flash <clears throat> and a massive wave of pressure. I'm thrown 12 feet onto the ground, but instantly knew what had happened. I opened my eyes to Marines dead or unconscious lying around me. A crowd of hundreds immediately vanished in front of me, and my body was catastrophically wounded with 100 to 150 ball bearings now in it. <clears throat> Almost immediately, we started taking fire from the neighborhood, and I saw how injured I was with my right arm, completely shredded and unusable. I saw my lower abdomen soaked in blood. crawled backwards seven feet, roughly seven feet because I thought I was still in harm's way. My body was overwhelmed from the trauma of the blast. My abdomen had been ripped open. Every inch of my exposed body, except for my face, took ball bearings and shrapnel. <clears throat> I tried to get up but could not. Laying there for a few minutes, I started to lose consciousness. When I heard Chaz, my team leader, screaming my name as he ran to me, his voice... <clears throat> His voice calling to me kept me awake. When he got to me, he dragged me to safety and immediately started triaging me, tying tourniquets on my limbs and doing anything he could to stop the bleeding and start plugging wounds with the help of the other Marines. I was awake through most of it, screaming, moaning, and cursing. Please ask, uh, <clears throat> I ask you to please ask me about getting shot at the tower in Abbey Gate and how no one wanted my report post-blast. Even NCIS and the FBI failed to interview me. Ask me to elaborate on my ordeal post-blast and ask me about this one little girl and her family that I reunited. Our military members and veterans deserve our best because that is what we give to America. The withdrawal, <clears throat> the withdrawal was a catastrophe in my opinion, and there was an inexcusable lack of accountability and negligence. The 11 Marines, one sailor, <clears throat> and one soldier that were murdered that day have not been answered for. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak.